dream of, dream will do true. Hello, I'm Hilary Calero and I have a company called Rockpool Recording and Rockpool Sarong. And they are 100% cotton sarong wraps and wearable leach towels. I love cotton, I love natural fibres. I think that's what we all should be wearing because uh, your skin can breathe, the feel of fabulous and soft and gorgeous. People ask me what a kakoi is. Uh, a kakoi is the most fantastic sarong you'll ever see. They sell them all around the world and they come from East Africa. And it's a traditional wrap that uh, everybody wears along the coast. They think that the kakoi design was influenced from traders from Oman. And these Omani traders used to trade all the way down the East Coast, all the way down to Zanzibar, sometimes Mozambique. And then the trade winds push the moments. And that's what made the Swahili culture. And these are gorgeous, gorgeous kakoyas. The fringes are all hand knotted. And the men and the women all hand knot all their own kakoyas. So they're just made with integrity and a lot of love. They're fantastic. And what really sets them apart from all other sprongs is that the cotton grabs when you tie it. It's really fabulous, they're really unique. So you wrap them around you really quite firmly and fold over. And um, and then pull that down onto hips and the cotton will weave with the fabric. As it's been pulled tight, it grabs and then that holds. I mean, it really makes it a unique um, Another way too that a lot of people love to wear the, wear the kukoi is you put it over your shoulders and it's a fantastic summer pashmina wrap. So you put it over here to just down here, just a little way down your chest. Bring it round your elbow and then put it over your hand and then just throw it. And then you've just got this warm, snuggly wrap to keep you nice and warm. You can be down the beach, get a little bit cool, wrap yourself up in your kukoi, go on up you know, to, um, to uh, anywhere that you're going for the evening, um, be on a boat, you know, just sensational. Very, very useful. You've got a beautiful kakoi and they sew a very fine towel along the back. And there's also a pocket. So you can put your car keys, your mobile phone, a little bit of money, your earrings if you've forgotten to take them off before you go down the beach. And it's all Velcro right across. So nothing's going to fall out of there when you're down the beach. So just firmly shut it like this and then you're done. And then you're wearing a really fabulous uh, sarong which uh, also covers as a beach towel. But they are really terrific to take travel and they take up no room in the bag. How did I start doing kakois? Well it's a bit of a story. What happened was that this was about seven or eight years ago and I've got a very very good friend who lives in Africa, the Kenyan coast, a little island Lamu, which is south of the Saman border. It is the most amazing, exotic, beautiful place. Uh, the coastal people all fish and there's these mangrove channels in between where they uh, tag big turtles as a consummation, uh, which is fantastic. And the people all wear the beautiful kakoyas. And they're just these gorgeous, vibrant, lovely colours. And I thought, why in Australia are we not wearing these beautiful kakoyas? I mean, our trading partner is up in Indonesia, and we love the Indonesian sarongs, but they're just not the quality of the Kenyan kakoyas. These last for years and years and years. And if you talk to any Kenyans, South Africans, anyone who's lived in Africa and know the kakoy, they just love them. So I think it's just a fabulous thing for Australians to have a look and use everywhere. These were a beautiful new sarong that I've just got in and they've proved really popular because they're a very, very soft voile and um, we all love the voile for the summer because it's so light and free and easy to wear. And these uh, beautiful sarongs come from Rajasthan. They're all hand block printed. They're absolutely exquisite. Um, it's, a, it's, it's something that they used, the villagers used to do years and years ago, but then sort of the industrial 
revolution really came in and, um, and nobody really wanted the hand block prints anymore. But now they've started making them again and it's up to us really to keep it going because it's a beautiful tradition that we really need to keep alive.